Hello guys, welcome back. This is Asmarant and this is my thoughts and reactions on the Raiders at the 49ers uh, pre-season game week three, the final one. And um, yeah, I did the 40 minute one, which was on about an hour or two ago on uh, YouTube. Uh, if you haven't seen it, link's down in the uh, description as well. And yeah, this is basically see on the bottom, it's my thoughts and reactions on the game. Um, Let's kick it off with brilliant job winning the game. I thought, um, oh, before I start, I didn't know who was playing or not. Uh, I couldn't find the Twitter page or anything because I was on holiday and so forth. So I was chilling out. Um, but yeah, I didn't know who was playing. So sorry if my voice was off, on and off on the, uh, the preseason game. But yeah, I watched the full works. I watched the full game afterwards um, just to see who was on and off and everything. Uh, and my overall positive, um, I put it, 49, uh, 49's are brilliant. I think that's one of the best games yet. Even though the Raiders had a crappy defence, um, overall it's still their best um, best preseason, I think, like preseason game that they've done. Um, the quarterback swap. I was up and down with the quarterback swap because I was really confused when you see in the 40-minute reaction Trey Lance has got the ball, throws it. Jimmy G's got the ball. And I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute. That was quick. That was a forward per snap. Um, but overall, um, it worked out. But then again, it wasn't really my thing. You know, do Trey Lance, or do like Jimmy G, first quarter, two-minute warning. Trey Lance on through the second two-minute warning. And do that battles of forwards until you get Studfield on on the third and fourth but that would have been my choice but the quarterback swap that Kyle Shanahan did for that game was really good even though I hate it overall it was really good for the game like I said the Raiders defense was a bit you know it was a bit of a downer but I hope they're not doing that all the time because you know the first month the first four weeks Lions okay but then you've got Eagles, Packers, Seahawks, whatever order it is, but you know what I mean, it's it's getting harder and harder every week goes up, so I'm hoping um, he doesn't do that too much, but if it's working, then what the hell am I saying, just go for it, overall defence was great, offence was great, everything went really, really well, but other than that, defence, like I said, well, offensive well, Let's get into the quarterbacks. Uh, and the first guy we're going to talk about is this guy. All right, so Jimmy Garoppolo. What do I think uh, of that guy? Is it? Can we say that this is the best that Jimmy G's preseason has gone so far, the game-wise? Week one was a bit of a terrible one, we have to admit. Week two he got a bit better. Week three, um, he did really, really, really well. Um, did a touchdown himself, which was out of the blue. But yet, yet again, as he did really well, he was throwing balls. And as he was throwing balls, you know, nearly got intercepted. Did, didn't get intercepted, but nearly got intercepted. So has Jimmy, you know, has Jimmy G really improved as much? I don't think he has. Um, I think he has. I don't think he's improved at all. You know, you, we could argue the toss with that, backwards and forwards, but at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not. Like, hate the guy. Like I said, he did a touchdown himself. Brilliant. A few decent passes. Fantastic. But then on the negative side, it's the still, still same Jimmy G. He's passing to someone who thinks he's clear, and then bang, someone comes out. A defence comes out of nowhere. He threw a good few throws. Not disagreeing that. But it's the same Jimmy G. That ball will get intercepted at some point. And that's what I'm, you know, I'm afraid of. As a veteran as a veteran quarterback. It's a bit, you know, I'm expecting to see two or three um, interceptions or anything. like. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm worried. But has he improved? The answer is no. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo has improved at all. 
Um, maybe you could maybe uh, against the Lions week one it will be better. Maybe, but this is the thing. It pe- it, it it really pisses me off where before the training start no, sorry when the training started before Jim uh, the training started um, they are saying listen this could be his worst cr- worst training going this could be his best training going no one knew day one hit Carl Shanahan come in he looks the best I've ever seen he looks great he looks good and we all know that because he is a trade value I don't want him there it's a fact I like him. Can't disagree with him. Do I want him to go? Not really. But he's going to go at some point. And to get the money for him, you need to up, you know, up in him as much as you can. Oh, he looks good. He looks great. Blah, 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 blah. But when you listen to um, other journalists, Grant Cohen being one of them, love listening to him. And there's other journalists about and pundits on the, web, on the American websites as well, on YouTube and so forth. What they write down is is the best I've ever seen, but he ain't doing the best at all. He's done all right training camp, like oh, I think out of ten, I think he's done like a seven, maybe seven point five. Great out of training camp, maybe that. But it's you know intercepted here, missed here, too high here, and this is throughout the whole training camp. A few inter a, a few interceptions. Don't get me wrong, they're great long throws, medium throws, bullet throws, short throws, all this. But it's a lot of it, it was in like the negative side. It, it, it weren't that, it's not him. Like, what's going on, man? Shanahan, I thought you just said that this guy is the, is the best you've ever seen. And you know, all, all these reports are coming in saying he's just not. He starts having decent games, but he's, he's still Jimmy G. He's not improved. So when you see him on week one against the Chiefs, bizarrely, you're supposed to trade him up. He was there from, what, first quarter and that was it? And then, boom, Trey Lance comes on. That's what he can do. So, yeah, I don't, you know, Jimmy G hasn't, I, I, <laughs> Jimmy G hasn't improved his preseason. I still think we, we're going to get a guy who's going to, you know, run. That touchdown was great. Against Raiders, so you might see him run a bit, run a bit maybe. Decent throws, long, medium, short. Bullet throws, long, medium, short, whatever. But out of nowhere, you know that you're going to see a good few interceptions out of him. And this is what you don't want, but we're expecting it. Well, oh, well, I'm expecting it. Um, that's what I've got to say about that guy. Um, speaking of quarterbacks, let's go on to the next one. Okay, Trey Lance. Uh. Overall, I think he did very, very well. But he overdoes stuff. Now, what I mean by that, it's not his fault because he's still improving. And I don't think the 49ers are helping him to improve. But I'll talk about that in a minute. But but he overdid stuff. Uh, his, short, like his short passes, like he threw too hard. Bullet passes. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the what you know? Maybe the receivers could have catched it. Maybe a person could have caught it, but slipped out his hands. But some of the passes, me, me personally, I thought he was he was running too hard, running well too hard. Like it, it, it was bizarre. I think he threw one high. I think, but you know, for guys a rookie, he's learning, he's training, it's new. But I don't think the Forty Nineers are hoping to improve. You know, they didn't have to draft up to a number three, technically. You know, they could have gone with someone else if they wanted Jimmy G badly. But I don't think they're training him proper because when you see week one, he kept him in the pocket that whole time. If you look up between week one and week three, the Chiefs against the Raiders, he was still in, he, he was always in the pocket, always in that pocket. Always. Raiders, man, he got a touchdown himself. He did a few runs. He looked great. Really good. The athletic, the athletic, what's, it, what's the word? Athleticism 
like his legs. Christ, he can run, man. He can run, and he did really well. Long throws weren't too bad. Medium short throws, uh, short throws. I mean, you've drafted this guy to be your future quarterback, like your future franchise for the 49ers. This is the guy for four years, I think it's four year contract or whatever, supposed to be the fucking best. And this is the guy who's going to do it. This guy's going to get you as to, into players as so many times as he can to Super Bowls as so many times as he can. This is the guy who's going to put 49ers there on the map. But when you saw him in preseason week one against the Chiefs, he got sacked, what, four or five times? I didn't let him do nothing. And, and I'm thinking to myself, what's Carl, what's Carl doing? Even the interviews for him, like, what's he doing? It's like you wanted him to get, wanted him to get hurt. And I didn't understand. I, 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 I didn't get how he thought it was right for him just to be there. If that was me, I said, listen, pal, you, bro, you do you. You go out there and you, you do you. Here's the play makes you, you tell me what's good for you. Go for it. But not stay in the pocket. Against the Raiders, he was great running. Just great running. He's just, he overdoes stuff with his mechanical arm. Like he's bullet throwing here, there and everywhere. And like I said, they dropped it. Maybe it was their fault. But it just seems to me that, you know, he's throwing way too quick. I hopefully he improve. I hope the 49ers get their head out of their and help him improve because he's still doing it. But who knows? But other than that, Trey Lance is learning. I hope he gets him for week one for the Lions. I like to start, to be fair, for week one against the Lions. I'll be wearing my jersey. I have a Trey Lance jersey because I do think this guy can... Make shit happen for the 49ers. Um, yeah. Other than that, I hope it does well. Um, nothing really to say um, about that. So, like I said, offense, defense, they've done well. They did really, really good as uh, that team. But this is what I want to talk about, the trade-up. Why this topic? Why did I say that Trey Lance ain't, is not approving? Because I don't think the 49ers are proving him. There was rumours and reports going around, even though we watched the interview with John Lynch and Carl Shanahan said at the beginning of January, I think it was early January, that, you know, they looked at Matt Jones, they looked at Bill, they looked at Trey Lance, but Trey Lance was the one overall all along. And there was rumours and reports going in, you know, because according to Carl Shanahan and that, they desperately wanted him, they wanted him, this was the guy to do it, this is the man, yeah, that's it, we want him, we love him, that's it, that's why they drafted up to number three, and there was a lot of rumours and hearsay, and it was being questioned over, uh, I think it's Good Morning Football, or all the pundits and all the reporters and all of this, that and the other, that, um, I don't know if it was Carl Shanahan or John Lynch or both wanting Matt Jones. But they got talked out of it. Or one of them talked him out of one or they both got talked out of it. Um, listen, I think, me personally, that if that was the case, I think Carl Shanahan wanted Matt Jones and John Lynch wanted, um... John Lynch wanted uh, Trey Lance because as we know Carl Shanahan wanted Kirk Cousins really want Kirk Cousins love Kirk Cousins I mean every interview whatever article whatever it like, keeps Kirk Cousins up his ass. you know I love Kirk Cousins we need Kirk Cousins this that Kirk Cousins and they never got him and I think Carl Shanahan said John Lynch oh, we need Kirk Cousins and blah 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 no we don't want him John Litt said no, no's an answer. Draft comes up. I think in my mind that, you know, reports are saying that we could have got Matt Jones. I think we could have got Matt Jones. There's now a possibility in my mind we would have got Matt Jones if John Lynch, you know, Carl, Carl Shanahan, I think, wanted 
uh, Matt Jones and then John Lynch said, no, it's not happening. I like Trey Lance. I think we should get Trey Lance. And I think Carl must have stepped back and said, yeah, okay, we go get Trey Lance. That's what I think in my mind. Because that big report going around of Matt Jones was very, very good. Almost too good. And I think even Matt Jones thought, he must have thought he was going in for the 49ers. Must have. But, there you go. And then we drafted up to number three. I think it was 12 to three. Desperately wanted Trey Lance. And I don't I don't think Carl Shanahan wanted Trey Lance. I think he wanted Matt Jones. And then Trey Lance got picked. We got him. Fantastic, we got Trey Lance. And then, there you go. What happens? Trains him up. Did well here. He's, he's, he's building up the confidence. Up, up, up. Week one pre-season. Chiefs. Sacked four or five times in the pocket. Why? Shanahan says. Shanahan said, just want him to stay in the pocket, see what he can do in the pocket. You sat the guy four or five times. You're an idiot. Why? And then he's like, on the training leading up to the second week, I think it was like up and down, he was doing all right, still learning, he's doing a bit better, he's doing a bit better, you know, he's gradually going up again, week two, he did all right, against the Chargers, he did well, um, yet yeah, again, overdoing stuff, unders doing stuff and stuff like that, but the training camp apparently still goes up, and then week three, um, he did very good, but he still overdoes stuff. But do I think the 49ers are training him hard? And I still don't think so. And if not, why why you traded up for him? Why have you, you know, your round picks for this guy? You traded up to number three to get the best. You picked Trey Lance. Even though, you know, you might not have got Matt Jones. Don't matter. At the end of the day, you got Trey Lance. This is the guy that you've gone for. So help him out a bit more. Because it seems to me with the reporters, they're saying, yeah, all right, he, he's doing well, he's still learning, yada, 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 yada. But then, if, I mean, you see that shit in week one, what's the improvement? I ain't seen no improvement. Week one, he, he didn't even run. Why? Because Carl Shanahan says so. He can't run. You're having a laugh. That's his main, main skill set. He's great on his feet. He can run quick. You traded this guy. You desperately wanted this guy. Fucking hell, you gave him a four-year contract, I think, with this guy. He's, he's our face for the 49ers for four years. So what are you doing? Why, why the trade-up? Why that desperate? We want the best. We always try to get the best. And I think he, I think he is the best. I think we've done a bloody good job getting him. I think he's going to do well. And I think the regular season, with the offense and the defense and the two quarterbacks, I think we could do pretty well. I'm not saying we could instantly win playoffs and instantly win Super Bowls and so forth. I'm not saying that. Even though at the end of the day, we, you know, NFL is winning Super Bowls. I do think we can get to a playoff. The first players, I think we could gun it really well I think we're like the the underdogs for it but if you don't improve him you get nothing from him Jimmy G I love the guy but I don't think he's going to do wonders for us I just I can't see it but if you're going to keep him to do that backwards and forwards on a quarter we could you know trick the, op the, the uh, opposite team and play really, really, really well. And I think maybe a two-back quarter system will do well. Um, yeah, that's it I've got to say about that. And I've got one more um, one more topic to talk about. 2019 vibes. So I watched all the interviews and so forth. And Raheem Mozart come out of nowhere and said, Do you know what? I think we've got the best D-line out there. We've got, we've got the, the best defensive line. Yeah, yeah. It's... It's like 2019 vibes. This is what pissing me off. You've got to let go of the past. Right? I couldn't give a, a shit about 2019. And that was done. 
That was two years ago. That season went. We had the best season out there. We did very well as a team. Best set of players there. Straight to the Super Bowl. We did. Lost against the Chiefs. We did. And then they did this revenge tour. 2.0. Which was the biggest fuck off flop I've ever seen. Because Jimmy was out in two games. Kittle was out. Bosa was out. I think Samuel was out. I think all, all these players were gone. And Carl Shanahan's looking at his playbook going, oh, I don't know what to do. And you messed up. And then Raheem Moser pits the Oh, yeah, 2019 vibes. Man, you've got to shut up about that. Because you're putting stuff in your mouth that you're saying, oh, yeah, this looks like 2019 vibes. Praying that it's not 2020 vibes. Or worse than that, or if not that, how do you know that you ain't going to have a shit season? Hey, I'm only putting it out there. I'm faithful to the Bay. I'm a 49ers man. I don't want to lose like the next guy for his team don't want to lose. But if you've got Raheem Mozart's going, yeah, this is this defensive line 2019 vibes, you're having a laugh. And what happens if that flops? Listen, the past is the past. You've got to drop the past. It's it's old. It's garbage now. That's it. Forget it. And I don't want to hear this, this revenge 3.0 next. Just leave it as it is. Brand new season against the Lions. That's it. You take every game step by step and see how you go. Because it's a long season. It's eight, 18 weeks. A long, 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 long regular season. But don't open up your mouth and say, you know, keeping it up there, 2019 vibes, and it turns out to be a flop. Don't do it. You've got to keep your mouth shut. Um, other than that, that's it. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Um, but like I said, overall, do we think we have a great team? I think we have a great team. Defensive. Or, or uh, offensive, defensive, co defensive coordinator is really good, Marco. Um, yeah, I think we have a good, good chance. I don't know who's going to be the final 53-man roster. I ain't got a clue. I don't know. Uh, but I'll keep you updated who is the, the final set of players there. Because uh, I don't want to see who's in or out. Oh, I'm sorry, who's out and practicing and so forth. Like, I just want to see who we've got is this the team that's going to lead us to a playoff? That's what I see. Um, leave a comment, guys. Tell me what you think of my react, uh, of my thoughts on the game and overall about everything else. Just leave your comments. Love to hear uh, what you've got to say. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for the 40 subscribers as well. Uh, really fortunate, humble, appreciated. You guys subscribe. And if you're new, click on that red button, man. Subscribe, because I'll be doing, um, on the regular season, I'll be live on YouTube for you guys of my reaction so stick around for that week 1 6 p.m. I will be on I'll put on a schedule for that guys um, and I'll be doing other re reviews reactions movie reactions gaming streaming and all sorts so yeah um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video